Seen this guy? You ever seen this guy? Mr. Tape Measure? I was reading this study in last month's Playboy that said a man who would actually carry his tape measure on his belt really has nothing to measure. <laughs> It's a sort of a macho thing, a sexual thing, that they carry a tape measure on their belt. And I can kind of agree with that, because you put any three guys, any bar, anywhere in town, that's all they'll talk about all night long, how big they are. <laughs> and they always lie. You know what they do. Now, I don't mean to embarrass you ladies right up here in this front section here, but what would you say the average length of the average man is? What would you say? <laughs> Did you hear that over there? Somebody said 15 inches. <laughs> I didn't know you had a horse race track here in... Uh, Phoenix area? What would you say? Take a guess. <laughs> oh, go ahead, take a guess. You must have your eyes open at least one time, huh? Because <laughs> cause you don't look Jewish, so... Uh... <laughs> Are you? Oh, well, gee. Must have been doing your nails then, huh? <laughs> what would you say? You take a guess. <laughs> It's not a game show, no prizes later. Seven? Oh, seven, that's a good guess, seven. Yeah. Well, no, apparently she's dated black men before, huh? <laughs> Talk after the show, huh, babe? <laughs> no, six is what they say the average length is, six inches, yeah. You ever wonder what six inches looks like? I'll show you. That's six inches. That frighten anybody? We know it don't frighten you. <laughs> Would you put any three guys, any bar, anywhere in town, they'll swear 14 inches, 16 inches, They'd be talking a foot and a half out there if you let them. You ever wonder what 18 inches looks like? I'll show you. That's 18 inches. <laughs> now, come on, guys. Who are you really fooling now, huh? Uh, not a whole lot of rules, just a few. Now, one of those rules clearly states, don't be late for the show. Now, don't you say, hey, Kev, come on, no big deal. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, what's, what's the big deal, you know? I'm sorry. It bothers me. It bothers the people around you. It bothers, it bothers the other performers when you come into the show late. It does. Because we try to do a professional show here. And it's always my job as a comedian to point out those people who wander into this club just a little late. Hi, how are you? You guys got here just a little bit late, huh? <laughs> my job. <laughs> I like giving away these Polaroids at every show I do, because for every Polaroid I give away, there's an actual picture of me and my family right here on the back. <laughs> Remember this one, though? Remember your parents sent you out to nice restaurants, nice little sit-down place to be? As soon as you got up to go to the bathroom, your mother always said to you, hey, listen, uh, go, you're going in there, do us a favor, squat 
over the seat, don't sit down, you might catch something. Remember that? Here's when my parents were extremely strict. They made me carry a seat in with me. <laughs> now some of you may laugh, but you wanna have fun the next time you get on the train, plane, a bus? Whip one of these out and have a seat. <laughs> Now, if you want to make the person next to you really nervous, ask them for a tissue. <laughs> hey, I'd like to do a scene now from one of my favorite movies. I know it's one of yours. Tarzan meets the jungle people. <clears throat> Meet Tarzan, king of jungle. You jungle people seeing white man? No, Tarzan! <laughs> we ain't seen nobody around here! black crowd, I wouldn't get out of here alive right now, you know that shit. They be waiting for me outside going, do that lit joke now, mofo. <laughs> so let's try here, buddy, go ahead. I don't know why black guys do this. I don't know why I do it, because I like it. <laughs> now, I should say, no, honestly, my mother is one of those people who doesn't like this joke. She thinks it's a little too degrading towards blacks and thinks I should stop doing it. I did a show for about a year ago back east, and after the show, she said to me, Where'd you get that joke from? I don't like it, so anyway. This is what Backstage in Arizona, Backstage Pass is all about. Just people like you and me, great producers and videographers coming together to bring back the programming to the people. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you had as much fun watching it as we've had putting it together for you. Spread the word. Word of mouth is the best advertising. Until next time, my name's Joel Samuel, and from me and the Backstage crew, have a good evening. Till next time.